Hi guys and welcome to this video. My name is Chris and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make use of the tab gesture recognizer in Xcode. I'm going to show you two different methods on how we can implement it. The first one will just be where we go into the main storyboard and control click and drag us the way out of it. And the second method will be how we can implement the tab gesture recognizer programmatically. So keep on watching and learn how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is to open up Xcode and hit create new Xcode project. In here I will select single view application and call it the tap app. So there are two ways of doing this and the first one is to do it with the tools we get from Xcode and the second way is to do it programmatically. So first of all I will show you with an image by putting in an image here and resize it a little bit and um, then into my assets uh, folder here I will add an image not this one I wanna add the programming Im image here and then in the main of storyboard if I select the image view here I can select an image called programming image which is the image we're going to use and that's just nicely and if you wanna make use of um, tap gesture recognizers you always have to select user interaction enabled down here otherwise this won't work so we will now search for tap gesture recognizer and add that in here we will now control click and drag from the picture to the tap gesture recognizer and from the outlet collections select gesture recognizers then I will open the assistant editor and control click and drag from the tap gesture recognizer down here and call it tap ac action because we're going to create an action out of this and then click connect and in here we can basically do whatever we want we're just going to print out hello world and if we compile and run this on the iPhone X Let's see what happens. We have the picture here with no constraints, of course, but if I tap it, we get hello world down here. So this is the way of doing it without programming anything or just a little bit, but you can also do it in another way. And for this example, I'm going to go back into the main storyboard uh, actually close down the assistant editor and add a label and resize, resize the label to fit the screen just like this align it to the middle and say three lines and then open up the assistant editor again control click and drag the label into here and I'm just going to call it a, a label. If you want to create an app out of this, you should consider using another name, label. That's a pretty bad name. But let's go into the view, uh, view controller here. So this example, I'm going to create an array called quote array. And I've actually already created this quote array for you guys. This is an uh, quote array with with quotes of course <laughs> and this these are six programming quotes which i found really nice so in here in the view.load i will now say let random index because i want to select a random index from the array and i will say int arc for random and then u int 32 and then quote array dot count so basically this let variable here just gives us an a random random um, index from the array but this is in integers and we want it in strings so we will say let random item and then say quote array dot no not dot but quote array and random index so this will give us a random quote from the array 
and then I will say label dot text is equal to random item. So uh, as I showed you before in the main storyboard, we always have to say uh, select the is user interaction enabled. So programmatically, we will say label dot is user interaction enabled and put that to true. And I will then create a tab gesture recognizer by saying let tab gesture equal to UI tab gesture recognizer and then self and the action will just be hashtag selector and then a function which we haven't created yet but we will called self dot tab gesture and then down here we will say label dot add gesture recognizer and then tab gesture so this is all we have to do of course we have to create the tab gesture function as well so I will say an objective function called tab gesture and all we want to do in here is basically just the same as we're doing up here but we want to repeat it every time we tap the um, tap the the label so if I compile and run this we see that every time we tap here we will get a random quote from the array and every time we tap up here we will get hello world So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, if you think the video helped you just a little bit, go hit that like button below and if you have any questions to the code or the video, then leave a comment below. If you want to see more of this in the future, definitely go hit that subscribe button, otherwise take care and I will see you guys in the future.